Good afternoon. We're here at Cypress Lawn Cemetery in Colma. I'm Eunice Braybeck, a member of the La Porta de Ora San Francisco chapter of the DAR, along with Regent L.N. Bingham. And we're here to make a presentation uh, remembering Philip Carl Katz, the only native San Franciscan to ever be given the Medal of Honor. As a young man of about 19 years old, he was commended for his outstanding service during World War I. As a very young man, he saved the lives of several of his comrades as they were held under enemy fire. The Medal of Honor is a, the most prestigious award that's given by the United States government to men and women who serve and give most often their life as well as their service and one not many of them were given. So he was a, a, a very, uh, and as we can see from his grave here, he lived a long, good life. He was 98 years old when he passed away. Oh so uh, hopefully he was honored many times within his lifetime uh, for having given such wonderful service to this country. And you know, Eunice, right now today, there's only one World War I veteran still living. That's right. And he was just honored at the World War I Museum in Kansas City, Missouri on Memorial Day. And so we're down to one, and he is well over 100. And he said at the time that he served in World War I, he thought that he might make it through the war, that he had longevity, but he never had any idea he'd have this much longevity. I believe he's 116 years old, and he was very young when he served. So my grandfather served in World War I and lost battalion. And uh, so it's particularly meaningful to honor the men who served in World War I and so oftentimes they're overshadowed by those who served in World War II. So it's with a deep uh, gratitude that we put this uh, bouquet on his grave and uh, honor his memory. So it's with a deep sense of appreciation that we honor this Presidential Medal winner and say thank you for his service and hopefully we'll all remember the service of those who have served our country so very well. And so Eunice, let's uh, split the bouquet in half. Cypress Lawn uh, Foundation, the Cypress Lawn Cemetery Foundation, offers throughout the year uh, all kinds of informational and uh, historic kind of events here in the cemetery. And uh, we have taken actually uh, guided tours of the cemeteries. There are 17 cemeteries in Colma, including one pet cemetery. And a cemetery is history. If you could talk to the people that are here, it would be, it would be amazing what you could learn, uh, what they would have to tell us of what happened in San Francisco 150 years ago. What happened in 1918 on the battlefields in Europe? It's not difficult to find a hero to honor. Uh, any man or woman that goes into the service is a hero because they give of themselves. And um, no matter if they only win a sharpshooter's medal, <laughs> they're still giving of themselves and laying their life out for us. And um, so we just need to remember to honor our heroes, whether they're men or women, and um, they've sacrificed for our country. <laughs> 